Have you ever wondered how engineers know how much weight a foundation can hold or how they make sure a slope does not collapse? That's where geotechnical engineering comes in. Geotechnical engineering is a branch of civil engineering that deals with the interaction between soil and structures. I'm Deborah the founder and CEO of Oasil, a geotechnical and mineral exploration firm in Uganda. I help clients understand the soil conditions at their site so they can build safe and stable structures. In this blog, I'm going to give you an introduction of geotechnical engineering. I'll cover the history, the scope and applications of geotechnical engineering, and I will introduce some of the basic concepts of soil mechanics and foundation engineering. The history of geotechnical engineering goes back to the ancient Greece and Romans. The first geotechnical engineers were responsible for designing and constructing roads, bridges, and other structures. In the 19th century, there was a major advancement in geotechnical engineering with the development of soil mechanics. Soil mechanics is simply the study of the physical properties of soil and how they affect the behavior of the structures. Since then, geotechnical engineering has continued to evolve because it is now a more sophisticated discipline that uses a variety of methods to design and construct self and stable structures. Now that we've covered some part of history of geotechnical engineering, let's take a look at the scope of geotechnical engineering. Geotechnical engineering is a broad field that covers a wide range of topics. Some of the main areas of geotechnical engineering include soil mechanics, the study of the physical properties of soil and how they affect the behavior of the structures, foundation engineering, the design and construction of foundations for structures, slope stability, the analysis and design of slopes to prevent them from collapsing, groundwater engineering, the study of the movement of groundwater and how it affects the stability of structures, geo-environmental engineering, the study of the interaction between soil and the environment. These are just some of the many topics that are covered in geotechnical engineering. If you're interested in these topics, I encourage you to subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you don't get to miss any of these amazing videos. And we shall be covering many of these topics on this channel. So feel free to subscribe. Thank you. Well, without wasting any more time, we are heading straight to the applications of geotechnical engineering. Geotechnical engineering is used in a wide variety of applications, including number one, the design of buildings, bridges, and other structures. Number two, the design of dams, tunnels, and other underground structures. Number three, the development of land for roads, airports, and other infrastructure. Number four, for the remediation of contaminated sites. Lastly, at number five, the study of natural hazards uh, such as landslides and earthquakes. Well, these are just a few ways how geotechnical engineering is used. By understanding the principles of geotechnical engineering, we can build safer and uh, sustainable structures that can stand the test of time. The basic concepts of soil mechanics and foundation engineering. Well, uh, as we have mentioned before, soil mechanics is the study of the physical properties of soil and how they affect the behavior of the structures. Soil mechanics includes soil strength. This is the ability of the soil to resist forces. Then it also includes uh, soil compressibility, the ability of soil to change its volume under load. Then we also have uh, soil permeability, the ability of soil to allow water to flow through it. Whereas foundation engineering is the design and construction of foundations 
for structures. Some of the important concepts of foundation engineering include settlement. This is the amount of movement that a foundation will undergo under load. Bearing capacity is the maximum load or weight that a soil can support without collapsing. We also have what we call uplift. Uplift is the force that pushes the foundation upwards. So these are still just a few of the basic concepts of soil mechanics and foundation engineering. I hope that this vlog has given you a better understanding of geotechnical engineering. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. See you.